Welcome to exercise one of lesson 13, Mastering Java. Here we're going to create four strings, uh, which are very similar to what we've done before, living zebras, juicy oranges, so on and so on. Then we're going to print each of these strings to the screen, and then we're going to do some searching. So we're going to search the first string for a substring called zebras. Notice that the string has two words in it, living zebras. So what we're going to end up doing is search that string for the word zebras and print the index to the screen where we find the word zebras. Then we'll search the second string for the word or. Notice there's no word or here, but notice the word oranges does have or as a portion of that word. Then we're going to search the third string for the uh, substring called dan. Of course, there's no single word dan, but of course it's part of the word dance. And then the fourth string, we're going to search for the phrase of an, which of course is right here. So in, e in each of these cases, we're going to use a method to do this. And whenever we get the result back, we're going to get an index that's going to be counting from zero at the beginning of the string up until where our phrase is matched there. All right, so inside of our main method, we're going to define all four strings with the four phrases that we have. And then we're going to uh, begin to check on the screen and again, it looks like we didn't print those out to the screen, so let me do that system.out.println like this, and I'll just call it str1, and I'll just copy this just to make it fast, two, three, four, and then I'll make this string two, string three, string four, and then in here, after we do that, let's put a blank line, system.out.println, and we'll take the arg0 out, that'll be a blank line now. What we do is we're printing out something inside of here. We have string one and we're accessing the method called index of and inside of there, there is a character string called zebra. So what's happening is the word zebras, the, the substring called zebras is passed to the method, which then scans through string one to find a match for this sequence of characters here. And if it finds a match, then this entire method is going to send back as a return the index, which is a number starting from counting at zero at the beginning of the string to where that happens. So in, in the terms of this, if we start counting here with the L, that's zero, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we should get the number seven returned. Let's go ahead and run this and see what we do get. And we're printing out the strings. The very first thing we get is seven. That's exactly what we expect. Now for the next one, we're searching string two for the substring called OR, which is right here. Starting from here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that's why we get 6 here. And then when we go to the next one, we're searching for Dan, which is way over here. The very first letter of that substring is happening at an index of 15, starting from 0 at the beginning of the string. And then the same sort of thing is happening here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's why we get a 5 at the end. The important thing to remember is that this method is returning a number and it's returning an index which starts at zero at the beginning of the string, just like all of these string functions or string methods. Now, why would you actually need to do something like this? Typically, you're searching substrings, you're searching strings for sequences of characters generally for the purpose of replacing, making replacements. So you might want to replace the word zebras with elephants, for instance. Uh, this is one example. Or you might just want to see how many times this word pops up. And you might have several strings that you're searching. There's many, many reasons. But in any case, this is giving you the opportunity to figure out where in your string you can find these things we call substrings, which are smaller chunks of strings. So make sure you understand this. Then go off to the examples and get some practice with it yourself. It's a very useful and very easy to use method in Java.